Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Spur Video Day and have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's Spur Video Day 10 will take us to the 27th of May and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the external GFS and ECF ensembles maybe on track a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us towards the middle of June. I should get on that for you in a moment. Just to say that first video today was our 6am UK weather forecast and also release um, the uh, extended USA forecast as well. Well, actually, by the way, so check out those two vids if you'd like to do that. Like, share, and subscribe on the video. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that for uh, Gaz Web. It's day 10, 27th of um, May, will be the day where we're doing our charity live stream, by the way. So we're 10 days away from uh, the Gaz Web charity live stream. Going to be raising money in a three hour live stream, or hoping to. Uh, for Rainbows Hospice, uh, and they look after children and young adults with life-limiting and terminal illnesses. And uh, it's going to be absolutely lovely. You know, we're going to do uh, a free hour stream from 6 until 9 p.m. on the 27th of May. There'll be, there'll be guests coming in chat with me as well of course we'll have a look at the weather um also got to do that haven't we as we're a weather channel and um we're going to be remembering mrs p as well because it will be the one year anniversary of uh, of when mrs p passed away so um i thought it'd be you know, do it in her memory, and it would be something nice to do to uh, remember my mum. So uh, that's the plan, and I uh, hope I'll see you there on the 27th of uh, May at uh, 6 p.m. at Saturday, 27th of May, 10 days away. We'll have a look in a moment and see what some of these models are forecasting for the 27th of May. Right, let's start off though with the centering temperature. The CT is currently sitting at 12.1, which is just one degree above 61 to 99 average provisional to yesterday to the 16th of May that's ticked down slightly it'll probably tick down again when it updates uh, tomorrow probably down to 12 degrees and then I would imagine that will be as low as it'll go and it'll start lifting up then as we go into a second half of week and the uh, weekend as well we should see that starting to um pick up as uh, warmer air begins to invade the high pressure, invade, evade, invade, the high pressure that's uh, currently with us. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. All it leads today, the red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for Leeds. We're starting off close to average at the moment. We should see the upper air temperature starting to uh, pick up, uh, pick up though, over the next uh, couple of weeks. Now, initially, that's like quite a slow progression. So don't be expecting, you know, that much change as we go through the next few days. But it should become, by the weekend, it should become uh, warmer than it is right now. But it's really as we get into, like, the final days of May and the start of June that we see the lift up accelerating. Don't look as though things should start to become really quite a lot warmer as we come to the fi final week of May, the final days of May. I reckon you could see the temperatures into mid-20s Celsius for the first time this year. And not completely dry. So you see on the ensemble graph of precipitation, there are precipitation spikes from beginning to end. Hold on, everybody. We've got somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. There we go, door answers, and no, it wasn't a take away. <laughs> not this time, not this time it wasn't. Um, no, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> um, yeah, so, oh, precipitation spikes, that's right. So, um, there are precipitation spikes from beginning to end on the graph, actually. <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna have to set myself down now. Um, do I start the video side again? No, we'll carry on. We'll be funny, it'll be a funny moment. Um, right, so perhaps some cases might start to end on the ensemble uh, graph, but not all that many of them. So what I think what this is telling us is that it's not it's trying to settle down, trying to settle down and warm up. Clearly it is going to warm up, but there will still be showery bursts here and there, you know, it's not going to be an entirely settled couple of weeks. But that said, any precipitation that does come along should be at a relatively low level. So uh, uh, it shouldn't, you know, it shouldn't be enough to spoil the feel of things. 
but don't expect a completely dry couple of weeks. Temperature anomalies from the 17th to 25th of May coming out a little bit cooler than average in the south, uh, a little bit minor average up in the north, and precipitation anomalies drier than average in most places. So that's the confirmation, you know, that overall we're looking at a drier than average uh, week to come, or 10 days to come. Major weather map from Earth No School dot net shows that high pressure is in control of the weather uh, now coming in from off the Atlantic, starting to send the jet stream uh, northwards, and this is the start of the change to more settled conditions. Right, let's start going through the latest uh, chart data then, starting off with the UK Met Euro run. So high pressure reaching from the southwest to the northeast on Saturday, still at high pressure in control for Sunday. It's been weakening a little bit though, so as we go into the open part of next week, there's like a little bit of a trough developing within the centre of the two regions. So this is what I talked about a moment ago, really, really with the ensemble graph. You see how overall high pressure is dominating this. The Azores high is ridging into the west of Europe, and there is also another ridge of high pressure over Scandinavia. But in between that, there's like a weakness, and a little bit of troughiness going on. So because high pressure is generally in control, any precipitation will be relatively minimal there, but there will probably be precipitation with that if that comes up. You know, there would be showery conditions, more particularly for the northeastern parts of the country. I can't, again, with a ridge of high pressure building through the country on uh, Saturday and still there on Sunday. Still there on Monday too, actually. And even into the middle next week, I can't have more of a anti-cyclonic anti-cyclonic influence compared to the UK there, bringing quite a lot of dry weather in from off the uh, Atlantic there. And uh, the GFS Midnight Run also has quite a nice, strong and stable ridge on Saturday. That uh, ridge still uh, with us, high pressure still with us into uh, Sunday and Monday as well. Just pulling the high pressure out to us a little bit, allowing something slightly cool to come round the edge of the high pressure from more of a north or a northeasterly direction. But the anticyclone is still the dominating factor. That's day 10, which is the 27th of May. Nice ridge building in from off the Atlantic. So so I reckon that should get temperature at least into the low 20 Celsius with um, strong uh, May sunshine. Maybe even a little bit higher than that. That is the day of our charity live stream on the 27th of May. The high pressure still maintains in control uh, beyond that. Just, but just begins to inch out to our west a little bit. Uh, this back on Monday, 29th of May. The high pressure just begins to inch out to us a little bit. Starting to allow something slightly cooler in from the north around the edge of the high pressure. Perhaps bringing a few showers to northern and eastern regions too. And then the high pressure back in again as we get towards the very end of the GFS. Uh, midnight road to the 2nd of June. The GFS 6 then again with a ridge of high pressure in the country on Saturday. Weakens a little bit. Sunday, Monday might allow a few showers. But basically high pressure ridging in from the west keeping things mostly dry and settle through the middle and even into the second half of next week. That's the scenario up to day 10, the high pressure ridging in from the west, bringing lots of dry and settled weather with it. Beyond that, we just keep high pressure maintained close to the country, should bring lots of dry and quite warm weather as we go along. Uh, these sort of upper teens, low 20 Celsius, maybe a bit higher than that. That's the end of the GFS 6 run, which gets to the 2nd of June, still with that ridge maintained over the top of the country. If you're enjoying the video, please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. Why not drop a comment? And let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gareth Weather Vids. I mean, thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. GL, again, with a nice ridge of building through the country uh, on Saturday and in Sunday and Monday. High pressure, more or less, in the ascendancy through to the middle of next week. Still keep that ridge building in from off the Atlantic too. That's very pleasant. And by day 10, the high pressure's right in over top of the country then. Um, no, not much to say about that, other than becoming drier and warmer as we go through the final week of uh, May. That's the 27th of May. Again, day 10 should see uh, a nice, dry, warm day. And then the ECM looks like this. High pressure ridging from the southwest to the northeast on Saturday. Still that ridge in control through the Opa next week. Just probably allowing a few showers to the vet. Then the high pressure sort of pulls out to our west a little bit by Tuesday, allowing a slightly cooler and more showery northwest wind to develop. And then it starts to turn perhaps a little bit more unsettled, especially for the north, around days 8, 9, 10. That could bring some shower rain into the north. But south still under the ridge, though, 
should have quite a lot of dry and warm weather. I think you had all of the models, though. The ECM probably looks uh, a little bit more showery for the final week of May. Let's confirm that with the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tomechshow.com. Initially, some showers up in the north, otherwise quite a lot of dry uh, weather. Now, we get some showery condition coming southwards as we get into the uh, latter stages of this week. Then we're into mostly dry conditions again over the weekend with that ridge of high pressure um, next week, we start to uh, get some uh, showery rain coming in from the north and northwest, particularly to the west and the north. And that's only a look as we get day 10 and a mostly dry wet, but there could be a few showery bursts in the northwest. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. Gets us to the 27th of May. 13 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure blow up to its way to the northwest, high pressure. Over and to the east of the coast. Should be lots of dry weather with that. A little bit of influence from a jet stream to the far northwest. Might be a few showery bursts up there, but otherwise the high pressure is dominating. But 12 have lower pressure or even low pressure in control, bringing in the wind from off the Atlantic. That would be showery and maybe a little bit cool. 10 with a Scandinavian high and around that winter coming in. Trevi, he's got a lot of dry and warm weather there. Six with high pressure again over and slightly to the north of the country, or more or less over the country, so that's pressure dry and warm. Um, another six with high pressure dominating from Scandinavia. That should bring a lot of dry weather from over low. Just the southwest might bring a few showery conditions to the far south and southwest. And then four, including the operational run with low pressure to the north, high pressure reaching into the southwest, and that's one of the more unsettled options so most of the options are involving high pressure but there is a minimum option which does include the operation run which wasn't well supported by its ensemble by the way does include uh the operation run though that is a bit more unsettled at uh, day 10 the 12 there and the four there. So um, most of the options though involve high pressure day 10. In two weeks time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 1st of June. 26 members of the East Ham Ensembles with high pressure just to the north of the country, bringing the wind from the east, mostly dry and warm. 15 again with high pressure over and just to the north of the country, bringing the wind from a warm east direction. And 10 with high pressure. Reaching through the country, lower pressures away to the northwest, lots of dry and quite warm weather with that too. Uh, right, last ECF has been two, so we use a 500 millibar height and on breaking down into week periods. The first week period takes from the 17th to 23rd of May. The coming week we'll have high pressure bridging in from the southwest to the northeast, northeast even. Lots of dry and uh, quite warm weather with that. Week two is going to be the 24th to the 30th of May, high pressure. Dominates over Scandinavia, winds in from an easy direction, being dry and warm there as well. Week three is going to be the 31st of May to the 6th of June with high pressure just over to the north of the country. Lots of dry and warm weather with that. Really, it's high and dry for the next three weeks. Should uh, be very, very pleasant indeed after the, <laughs> after the uh, long, cool, wet spring that we've had. Well, it seemed like a cool wet spring. Actually, temperatures have been generally above average this spring, particularly by night. Um, but it's just felt like a drag this spring, hasn't it? So I think... Uh, this is all going to feel very, very nice if you enjoy dry, warm, sunny weather, which, of course, not everybody does. And lastly, week four will be the 7th to the 13th of June with high pressure again right in over the country, mostly dry and warm with that too. What can you say? High and dry well into June. Summer is coming. Maybe. <laughs> right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please do you like, share, and subscribe. Don't get to your friends about Gals Worth. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. We thank you so very much, everybody, for uh, doing that for us. Okay, I'll just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. A bit of funny video, this, hasn't it? <laughs> I've been a little bit kidding. I didn't intend to be at the start. Just the way it's worked out. Um, no, if I'm being too much, I'm so sorry. Um, right, just tell what's coming up tomorrow. We're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather for Gals. We'll also have European outlook and a 10 to 14 day as well. Keep checking back to the channel for more. For today's video, so that's all for now, and thanks for watching.